Yeah, over the weekend, there was the World Stinging Nettle Eating Championship. They're repellent things, they look disgusting, they taste even worse, <laughs> and they actually sting you. So the very last thing you should ever do, obviously, is eat them. Right. The Stinging Nettle. Through millions of years of evolution, or God's creation, the stinging nettle developed a defense mechanism such that predators wouldn't even so much as look at it. But tell that to this bunch of nettle noshing nutters. They have one hour to eat as many feet of raw stinging nettles as they can. And this year, I'm going to join them. This is World's Weirdest Year. I'm on a mission to compete in the world's most extreme events. To gain a fighting chance, I'll first hone my skills through an expert training program. So I spoke to some friends about the stinging nail eating competition, and they told me that apparently some people are immune to stinging nails. I may as well test it out, right? <laughs> it goes through your clothes. I didn't think it would go through your clothes. So I can pretty firmly say that I'm not immune to stinging nettles. On to the next solution. New to the world of competitive eating, I needed to see if I could stomach the pressure of a timed event. I need to be able to deal with the volume of nettles I'm gonna be eating on the day. So I've gathered three and a half kilos of Nettles Pathetic Wimpy Little Brother Spinach. The record for eating spinach is 3.1 kilograms in five minutes. But that guy, weak, he decided to saute it. I'm gonna eat this raw. Start the timer. My motto has always been to go in fast and finish early. I didn't see any reason why that shouldn't apply to speed spinach eating also. That's what I mean, in, but I'm feeling confident. Bug boy. I should have washed the leaves. They say you never truly appreciate spinach until you eat it by the bucket load. But 10 minutes in, my appreciation had rapidly deteriorated. So I had a change of plan. In the stinging nettle event, you're allowed to drink cider and some say it helps lubricate them on the way down. So I thought I'd give it a go. Oh, that is fucking disgusting. Now I've put my housemates through a lot, but this was probably one of the weirder ones for Liv to walk in on. <laughs> no! <laughs> hey Liv, oh how are you God. doing? I also probably wouldn't have used that bucket, to be honest. What? I may have thrown up in that bucket <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be joining you pretty soon. And predictably. <laughs> oh my god. It does quite a lot like um, the creamy spinach that you get in French restaurants. Are you alive? I'm good, I'm a bit sad. If I vomit at the nettle eating, then I'm disqualified. Have you got room for more? Yeah. As the hour ticked to a close, I'd only managed to eat a grand total of one kilogram of spinach. I'd love to say that I learned a lesson from this. I'm not sure that I did. My hopes for glory were at a low, but then I had some inspiration. I believe it was Sun Tzu who in The Art of War said, in order to know your enemy, you must become your enemy. So long as I'm in human form, I don't stand a chance against those bad boys. It's time for me to make a transformation. After all, have you ever seen a stinging nettle sting another stinging nettle? I felt like a plant. But did the public think I was a plant? <laughs> There was no time left for training, the big day was here. Let's go. And we made our journey down to Dorset Nectar Cider Farm, home of the Nettle Eating Championships. I made my transformation from an ordinary man to an ordinary man wearing leaves. Upon which time I was greeted by a pirate and was attacked by a group of miniature locals. What's going on? What is this? <laughs> Fascinated by my ordinary size, I managed to win them over and they were soon chanting my name. With their enthusiasm on my side, I made my way to the arena 
where I became conscious that I stood alongside the reigning champions of nettle eating. It was now it dawned on me that despite all my training, I'd never actually eaten a stinging nettle. With a violent ring of the bell, we were off. Let the contest begin! Oh, Jesus. Stinging nettles are, and I cannot stress this enough, nothing like spinach. Ow. Spinach does not sting you. Ow. Spinach is not toxic. Ow. There is no world spinach eating competition, Ow. and that's because no one would want to watch a person eating spinach as entertainment, certainly not on YouTube. Alongside me was a familiar face. Dan was the guy who beat my shins and my crotch in the World Shin Kicking Championships. But now, it was time to get my own back by kicking him in the balls. The stinging nettle balls. Go on, nettle man. Halfway through, and my mouth and fingers were in agony. My mouth is going numb. My fingers are shaking. And the cider wasn't helping. Call me a conspiracy theorist, but perhaps the Dorset Nectar Cider Farm has a vested interest in suggesting the pairing of cider with stinging nettles. I'm going to be so bruised by the end of this. With 10 minutes to go, I had a trick up my sleeve. I've got a secret that no one else have. I bought some dock leaves down with me. Let me view nettles, eat a dock leaf. To my surprise, the dock leaves provided little benefit, and so I tried to pass them off. <laughs> if you want a dock leaf for your mouth. That's the white you've got to be. Oh, right. Oh, okay. A sad insight into living conditions in the Dorset area. Five. With seconds to go, I stuffed the last nettle in. Two, one, and it was all in the hands of the nettle gods. I watched on nervously as my score was counted. Had I done enough? Was the pain worth it? And most importantly, had I beaten Dan? I drink yeah. quite a lot of cider. Thank you. Uh, okay. I, I appreciate okay. the support. So we just finished 27 lengths. The record in an hour is 52 lengths. That was half an hour. It's actually on time for the record. I'm not going to lie though. If I'd had to go another minute, I may well have thrown up, so I would have been disqualified. My hands are shaking. My lips, they're numb, they're tingling, they're hurting all at the same time. My tongue. I never wanted to see a nettle again. But then... Oh, sorry. Oh, you got a tie off. Oh, no, you're joking. Are what you, do we do? Are you up for having a, a, an eat off? Oh, yeah, well, there's no choice. Yeah, yeah. I didn't train for this. Me too. I don't know if I'm ready. In honesty, in this moment, I was feeling sick and quite stressed. Hello. Hello. We've been cheering for you. Like I you. saw you, thank you very much. <laughs> I just need to wash my mouth out. Niall, Jamie, can you step into the circle? To my surprise, my eat-off rival wasn't Dan. It was a man named Jamie with an extravagant shirt. The challenge? The first person to eat one length of nettle and show their empty mouth. With the competition going to the wire, I needed the crowd on my side. Come on! <laughs> so I did what any person would do. I picked up a bunch of nettles and rubbed them in my face. Oh. Are you ready? Ah! A poor choice. Three, I regret that. Two, one. In the world of elite sports, it is so frequently the finest margins that determine victory. Federer versus Nadal. Frazier versus Arlene. Jamie versus Nia. be over dramatic but I think this might be the biggest success of my life all the training that we've done all the work that built up to this moment I can't even feel my lips I can't feel it when I kiss it I feel nothing I feel nothing inside and for the first time it feels great to say that and the fun didn't stop there as in the next few days I became a bit of a big deal Sean, in even your wildest yeah. times, have you, ever, have you ever eaten stinging nettles? Have I ever eaten, eaten stinging yeah. nettles? Stinging nettles. I don't think so. Look at these lunatics, all munching on stinging nettles, while a man known only as Niall beat off his rivals by eating 54 feet. He has never had my full name, 
because of this conversation with his reporter. Niall. Uh, well, first name non-stop, last name Niall. Which caused visible confusion. I started off thinking it was nuts, and then I thought, actually, it's a fantastic example of great British eccentricity. And the fact that we have people mad enough in this country to eat 50 feet of this stuff <laughs> makes me proud to be British. Panel, are we in agreement? <laughs> no! I'm not going to lie. I thought we'd go the whole way through the series and I'd never win anything. So, onwards and upwards. I'm just gonna have a tiny bite, I'm really hungry. Just a little bit, okay? Well, I'm gonna remind you. So it's just, it's a starter for the main course that's coming, all right? There's a big old main course coming, I just want a little bit. You better bit. not be sick because of this sandwich. I'm done. Right. And a little lick of the mayo. It's gonna fall off. Okay, that's it. That's it. Put it back. That's what I'm gonna have. Put it back. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs>